soon from now when I'm recording the World Hero Mission characters will drop on My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. Now big question is should you summon on World Hero Mission characters or you should summon for the brand new Todoroki banner that will drop after World Hero Mission banner probably the same day or the day after but that Todoroki banner will drop a little bit later. Uh, or the third option is you should skip both and save for anniversary okay so we're gonna discuss a little bit that on today's video so let me go here in the data mines really quickly so this is this brand new Todoroki we still don't know how broken he will be he'll be ST, uh, str type so he'll be a red typing then also we're gonna get the free to play Kami and Inasa will probably also be featured in that banner as SR character. We're gonna get a new event. Also, we are getting this ABL type select recruit. Do not summon on that one. I can tell you right away that's easy skip because all of these characters are in the pool of regular banners. Uh, okay, so that's that. Uh, login bonus, you know that. Survey, you know. V Tower, and also new memory summonable cards. Also, uh, this has been added to the files that was also in the game. So UR orbs will drop sooner or later. Probably it's gonna be sooner than later. Okay. So that's that. Now we need to discuss one thing. As I said, World Hero Mission characters are they worth it? Uh, I can tell you right away. They're, 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 they're like, yeah, must summon. I need to say must summon because they're limited. If, if they don't add it in regular pool, and they probably won't, in my eyes, this is a must summon because who knows when they're going to be back. Who knows? So, f in my eyes, new Todoroki is skippable, okay? Just because afterwards he will be added in regular pool of any new banner have that in mind but world hero mission characters they probably won't they're exclusive they won't be back and they're freaking awesome they're really good and i doubt that the new todoroki will be better than world hero mission todoroki we're gonna see but i'm just putting it out there in my in my eyes if you want to spend those gems if you want to summon go for the world hero mission characters don't go for the new todoroki Overall, the best option for free to play would be to save for anniversary, but I know that I won't do it and you won't do it because they are exclusive characters. You practically need to summon for them because who knows when they're going to be back. If they were like trash units, I would say skip it, but they're amazing. Like only Deku here is not good. I don't know, <laughs> but developers really like Todoroki. Bakugo, but Deku, god damn it. And All Might. All Might is okay, but still we don't have broken Deku nor broken All Might. Air Force Deku is really good. That's the only Deku that matters. Okay, inflict 700 to one enemy. Deal additional 40% if enemy is a villain. Inflict 300%. Single target da damage based on speed. Inflict 350 to one enemy. Increase speed. Fill plus Ultra Guy by 20. When HP is less than 50, increase power by 40, gain grit. I mean, overall, he's not, like, really trash unit. Like, he can be usable. Uh, at least somewhere, I guess, right? Um, like, that grit can be helpful. That filling up plus ultra guy and uh, power up. Then again, fill up plus ultra guy by 30% at the start of the wave. Increase critical rate by 30. Okay, so you can, I guess, do some damage to the yellow typing, but that's pretty much it for him. Uh, Bakugo is insane in PvP. All, all JP players are talking about him like one of the best units in PvP. Inflict 700% one enemy, deal additional 40% damage if enemy, if enemy has a critical debuff. 350 one enemy skill deal additional 50% for three turns and then this low chance to burn when used in a chain a reduce enemy critical rate by 20 like he can do insane damage when hp is more than 50 increase power uh, speed by 30 uh, fill plus ultra guy by 30 percent at the start of the battle uh, when hp is less than 50 
uh, increase power by 40 at the start of each wave reduce enemy power by 20 like amazing pvp unit and now todoroki like this guy does everything bro like you want to have him like he's one of the best units in the game so being here back here back that's amazing so inflict 600 percent damage single target he has high chance to freeze like most of units has like m low or medium chest he has high chance so he's gonna freeze like crazy then he has also medium chance to restrain the enemy for one turn that is like immobilization like opponent uh can do much for one turn like nothing can be extremely helpful inflict 225 damage to all enemies low chance to burn all ally skill deal an additional 30 percent damage for three turns then we have 300% damage to one enemy, medium chance to freeze. When used in a chain successfully, all allies gain 30% damage cut. Like, he is amazing for your team and on himself. At the start of each wave, all allies gain a 3 turn burn resistant buff. At the start of each wave, increase power by 40. Increase power by 40 if there is a pro hero ally on the team. Like, he'll do massive damage. He will do restraints, freeze, burn he will give allies damage reduction burn resistance in and increased power like what the hell is this unit <laughs> okay so i will summon i decided to summon with my main account for world hero mission characters because i think they won't be back anymore at least not in a short time period they're worth it uh you can get real unlucky if you pull like only deku from all of stream for for from all three of them that would be rip but baku and todoroki are insane they'll be all three in the same banner okay so new todoroki skippable uh i would summon for them bro todoroki baku go worth it 100 percent then when you're done with that save for anniversary that is something that i think would be the best data mines nothing new so we don't know how broken todoroki is but still he will be in regular pool so you're gonna be able to pull him later on i decided to go with my main account for world hero mission characters my secondary account will go for this todoroki i want to do both of summoning videos uh but yeah uh, we're gonna see okay we're gonna see when everything will drop uh, hopefully i'll pull world hero mission characters i have around 3000 plus gems nothing too crazy amount but still six multis should do the thing okay i pulled much much crazy stuff on the single summon so hopefully the multi summons will treat me well okay guys that's it uh, hopefully it was helpful leave a like subscribe and yeah see, see you in the next one bye